So every January for, oh, the past decade, we've taken a worldwide trend and pulled it into real life. The Pantone Color Institute sets the stage by forecasting the color of the year, which for 2023 is already making a splash. Viva Magenta is the new hue you're going to start to see a lot more of lately. It's a new animated red color associated with power, strength, and passion. And it's described as a brave and fearless color that promotes joy and optimism. But the violet undertones of Viva Magenta also give it a softer feel, leaning towards compassion and kindness. So many words to so describe one color. And as with many reds, you'll want to be mindful about how you incorporate Viva Magenta into your home, your apparel, and your beauty bag. So all this week, with the help of our Studio 5 contributors, we're exploring the possibilities of this vibrant red in real life, starting with your makeup bag. Studio 5 style and beauty contributor Megan Moore joins me. Happy New Year. Great to see you. Likewise. Viva Magenta. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I was thrilled. I bet you were. Yeah, because, you know, in years past, there's been colors that don't really play well in the beauty world, right? Blue and greens are hard to wear uh, makeup but this one really translates this one's really cool too because I like to think of it as a chameleon color oh. right it can look more red and it can look more pink depending on what you pair it with so okay. we've got some options there it's equally great with cool tones and warm tones so that's really fun because skin tones are a, a big thing with makeup so it's yeah. going to look great on any skin tone especially with a bold color like this I mean yes it, it matters if it starts to tip purple for example and your skin exactly. tone can affect that for sure and one thing I did listen to to, they did like a live webinar and announced the color and I listened to it. I wanted to learn what was behind it. The one thing they said that I absolutely loved, they said Viva Magenta is assertive but not aggressive. Oh. And I really like that yeah. because it's here and it's bold, but it's not aggressive like your fire engine red. So right. it makes it easier to wear on a makeup scale. We're looking at your lip pick for Viva Magenta. Yes. Tell us why you like this product. Um, I've got two favorites here in the Viva color scheme. So if you like a glossy pick, this one is the Vinyl Inks by Maybelline. They're amazing. So they've got a high shine. Um, uh, finish on them really beautiful, just awesome. It's gonna wear really well, but it's not kind of, it's not gonna be matte. Mm -hmm. This one is a matte option if you like it. This is by NYX and it's one of their lip lingeries and that's a, a matte tone of the same color. So both options are really beautiful. And again, they're gonna be bold, they're gonna be there, but they're not quite as aggressive as a full on red. So it could be a lot less intimidating to wear. Yes, I, I agree. And there is more red in this than I thought. When I heard magenta, yes. I almost thought more purple. I was thinking it was gonna read more pinky too, but but yes, the, the, the colors that they're picking are really neutral, kind of has enough purple and enough warm to be somewhere in the middle. It feels like a grown up color. It does, it, it is, very it's sophisticated. mature. Yeah. All right, for cheeks? Yes, so this is a really fun place to add it into your beauty routine. So again, you're feeling like, oh, magenta seems a lot, and maybe when you're seeing it in the packaging, it feels really, really bold, because it's <laughs> at full strength. But remember, these colors are, are designed to sheer out as we blend them. So this one is a really great option by Profusion. It's their sangria color and you just do a cute little dot on each cheek and blend it out and you get that pop of bold color yeah. but remember it's going to shear out what's, once it's on the skin so it won't feel quite so much. That looks really pretty on your face yes. and on your skin. All right eyes can we go this is a tricky one because if your eyes are already a little bit bloodshot, sleep deprived, <laughs> whatever it tends to be yes. on a Monday through Friday. I feel like sometimes the pinks or the reds on the eyes can, can play up on that. For sure. You have to use it really strategically, right? And I would say the best thing to do for this when you want to incorporate a pink or a red is to marry it with something neutral. Okay. I like to start with brown to do that. So I'm using my bronzer color and I'm showing two different ways to do it here. So I did my bronzer first and then I'm tapping on the magenta on the lower lid and kind of just blending it again with the bronzer. Okay. That brown kind of grounds it. So it's not quite so intense and it just feels a little bit, I don't know, more anchored to the eye. Uh -huh. And then the other thing I would say is don't put it underneath the eye because then you can look bloodshot. So keep a brown on the bottom okay. lash okay. and that's going to make a big difference. But you put that bronze underneath as kind of the first layer. Yes, I did on both of those. So there was two there. The first one was more bold. The second one, I just used it as a liner and then blended it out. So it was just a little hint of the pink, right? Mm -hmm. It's just kind of a peekaboo. So you can decide how much you want to do with this, mm -hmm. but I would say just anchor it with something more neutral. It could be a silver, it could be a cream color or copper is what I did on my eyes today as my anchor. So the pink is an accent, but it's not the full shebang. I'm remembering way back, I mean, 10 years back, I, I found myself through a series of random events <laughs> in, the, in the makeup chair of the Kardashians personal makeup. Ooh. I know. Now they went crazy, but they did an eyeliner. They did an eyeliner wash on my lid, like black eyeliner mm -hmm. all on the lid. And then they put a magenta 
over it. So it, I, I, you're bringing me back. I'm remembering that layering technique of more of a neutral, black's a harsh neutral, but more of a neutral underneath and then just that subtle pink. It was really pretty to play with. Yes, absolutely. And and doing a dark color and then layering on top yeah. is gonna make, again, feel more anchored, right? right? It doesn't feel like clown makeup that you just yes. slapped on. Yes. It feels intentional and like you purposely added that pink just to give it a little bit of something. Okay, all right. And nails, maybe the most approachable application. For sure, this is a great way. There's gonna be a million kind of options out there on the market. Um, this one is a fun one. And again, you can, you want, you're you wanting to look for something that's not quite pink and not quite red. It's somewhere in between. Okay. So this is a Sally Hansen option. And they're just gonna be a really beautiful nail or toe color year round. This one, this you can't go wrong with magenta, yeah, right? Yeah, easy one to try yep. in, in certain places. And maybe a push for you and others, but Megan will be here to help you every step of the way. For sure. Where can we get more New Year beauty advice from you? Always on my blog, thebeautysnoop.com, and then come hang out with me on Instagram, at beautysnoop. I like that you were excited. Yes. I mean, it's fun to have something just to play with for fun, yes. just because Viva Magenta, we're leaning in all this week. Tomorrow, we'll talk about how this color may show up in your home decor, and we'll round it out uh, the following day with Casey Matheny talking about how this will show up in our closets for 2023.